Hey there, this is my third take on this video. Uh, what you just saw a second ago was my cake, so very cool. This is my better half got me, surprised me with it. And uh, comment down below if you can tell me where uh, where that Friday 30th image is from. We picked up this toolkit today. We really need the toolkit because honestly, we kind of suck at having tools around the house. We're like looking for things, so this was 70 something percent off. 428 piece toolkit, job made, good quality stuff. I, I like their products. I used them before with my pops, and uh, pretty cool stuff. And it's uh, I think it's about forty something dollars for a hundred and seventy dollars toolkit, so it's pretty cool. I uh, grabbed up uh, some movies at a at a, the flea market. Some are uh, DVD, some are box sets, and some are from that Blu-ray guy that I also got those other uh, Disney movies from. So those are unopened, and uh, I don't want to know where he gets them at. I just want to be able to keep buying them for cheap, and this week he had them for even cheaper than he did before. And he had multiple copies, so <clears throat> I guess they fell off of a truck somewhere. We'll go with that. The mythical truck that things fall off of. Uh, Defcon 4 Defense Condition. It's uh, This one came out in 85. Again, it's like, you know, it's sci-fi paranoia classic. It's got the uh, art card cover, art card that I wanted to, this for. I actually want this for the art card more than the film itself. Just a very, just cool Anchor Bay. I love the Anchor Bay stuff. I grabbed up the Anvil for The Evil Escapes. I think this was a TV movie, kind of like for a pilot. I know they did another one short after, short after this. The only time I've ever seen this was on TV. I didn't even know it had a DVD release at all. Um, I want to be getting the uh, Anvil set down the road from a Screen Factory. I thought this would be a great addition for that. Uh, it's some cool stuff, and the Horror of the True Story documentary on here, whatever that is. Hopefully, <coughs> it's a decent one, not one of the really short ones like they have, used to find these things. Uh, Manhunter, uh, William Peterson, of course, uh, Brian Cox plays uh, Hannibal in this one. This is my favorite Manhunter film. I grabbed up one I have no clue about, actually, because it was Anchor Band, had a ton of features, had an interesting cast, it's a horror film, and it's called Left in Darkness, Stephen J. Cannell. Uh, now, I'm guessing this is probably a TV one, because I know Monica Kino worked a lot in television originally, and Stephen J. Cannell is the guy that does a lot of TV detective shows. So, uh, Tim Thomas was in it, though, and it had some pretty interesting stuff, so I wanted to check it out and see uh, uh, what the hell it's about. <clears throat> Maybe it's not horror, but it looks kind of horror, so... Does that look kind of horror to you? Yeah, we'll, we'll say it's horror. <clears throat> picked up the Day the Earth Stood Still. I love the Studio Classics collection. I'm collecting these here, by the way, guys. This one is number five. It has a 70-minute documentary on the making of the, Hurtwood, the Day the Earth Stood Still, which is pretty awesome. So, interesting. Check that out. Love Michael Rennie. One of my favorite uh, noirs actually has Michael Rennie on it. And I got this one for you guys, actually, <clears throat> as much as me, because I do the new... One of my new s sections that I do is... Uh, is an action movie review section. I started it off with Foxy Brown. So if you haven't checked out the Foxy Brown video, please do so. I'm really proud of the fact that, of that and being able to uh, do like a new series of stuff that's not just horror oriented. I do. So I'm going to be doing a lot of the classic 80s and 70s action films. I'm going to be reviewing them. Death Before Dishonor, Fred Dreyer. Again, it has, it does luckily have the uh, original art card. And uh, this one, I'm a big fan of the series Hunter, and I remember seeing this. I think I saw this. I'm not sure if that's the theater or not <clears throat> back in the day, but probably did. My, my better half is sure to love this one because, you know, after all, but when a sadistic group of Arab terrorists hijack a cache of weapons and go on a brutal suicide spree against the American forces, Burns turns to his own brand of diplomacy. Are you sure it was done? <laughs> it was, yes, it was done before in the end. Before you guys were considered the bad guys. <clears throat> anyway, I might have to watch that one alone, guys. But I will be reviewing it. And I picked up... Uh, this is the only one that's actually uh, not in the best condition. The rest of them, most of them are, are in... Uh, what's the word? Still sealed. And I got... I'm a big fan of Adult Swim. Especially the older Adult Swim stuff. And uh, I got Space Ghost, Coast to Coast Volume 1. <clears throat> Space Ghost, Coast to Coast, Volume 2. I don't know if these are all, yes, they were for $5 each. The DVDs I got were like for 2 bucks each. Uh, Space Ghost, Coast to Coast, Volume 3. I think this is the finishes it off because it's the last 24 episodes. So it's the last two series, I think. I think uh, for uh, I think Lola's Basement, you would. Rob Zombie's interviewed on this. You're a 
a huge Rob Zombie fan, I remember. And a show that almost that ruined my childhood show, but it was in such a good way. Uh, I picked up C Lab 2201 Season 1, uh, C Lab 2201 Season 2, which I love these shows actually, and C Lab 2201 Season 3. I love the art on these covers, it's just so different. Uh, the first one just has a very much the kind of the Hanna Barbera esque, like normal stuff, but then you get into like the uh, old school Marvel Comics art, like art with the uh, this one here. And then kind of just, just really different, very cool stuff. Now the next stuff I got, guys, they are Blu-rays. They are all unopened Blu-rays. And uh, let's just say they fell off the truck. Well, we'll go with that one. <clears throat> so first one I got was a Bad Grandpa. People have been telling me to get this one. So that's just like it's a good one. So uh, who knows? Oh, it's got the digital copy, and DVD, and Blu-ray edition. So pretty sweet. I also picked up one of my favorite movie series uh, for action, action-wise, it's Fast and Furious. I really enjoy these films. Uh, they usually have a fantastic soundtrack. The Two Chain song this is fantastic. Uh, this is extended edition with the Blu-ray, DVD, and of course the digital HD. Ultraviolet. Well, I said it'd be ultraviolet. I hate ultraviolet. It's harder to get them set up. But when, once they're set up, it's okay. But you know. Anyway, Fast and Furious Six. A lot of great features on here. One, I saw the other one, which I don't remember the name of, but I have not seen this one. And this is uh, White House Down. It's just a, like it's an action movie. Channing Tatum, my better half, finds him really cute, so we'll have, we'll enjoy that. She'll enjoy Channing Tatum, and I'll enjoy the uh, shooting. And uh, just has some cool stuff. A lot of Blu-ray exclusives on this one here. I love it when the Blu-rays come out, and there's a lot of exclusives on there. This is one of my favorites, actually, from uh, last year. It's just a comedy with a fantastic cast. And some people say it's like, you know, a different version of The Hangover type thing, but it's much better for me than The Hangover. My better half's a big fan of The Hangover films, and I'm, they're okay. <clears throat> they're nothing, like, extraordinary. The first one was good, and then the rest of them were the exact same movie done over again, with slight plot changes, but not much. And this is Las Vegas. If you haven't seen this one, you thought, oh, okay, it's a bunch of older guys. No, it's a fantastic movie. It's uh, got uh, Michael Douglas, Robert De Niro, Morgan Freeman, Kevin Kline. And, uh, oh God, what's the girl's name in this one here? She's fantastic. She's gorgeous, actually. Uh, I don't remember. But anyway, she's really cute. So just... Cute for me, anyway. So. After all, I'm in my 40s now, so she's cute for me. Uh, that's Mary Steen Virgin? I think so. Yeah, the girl that was in the Doc Brown's Wife in uh, Back to the Future 3. <clears throat> Anyway, she's got a fantastic singing voice. She's got a great set of lungs on her. That came out wrong. Uh, <clears throat> but Las Vegas is a fantastic film. If you haven't seen it, really strongly, highly recommend it. See how much I recommend it? I did strongly and highly. Uh, I haven't seen this one. Everybody but me has seen this one. I just wasn't that interested at the time. But uh, for the 3D Blu-ray, for just a kind of cool action one, I thought it was a 5-disc edition. had to pick it up really cheap. And this is a limited edition 3D one. And it's Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger's Tide. Uh, this is kind of like the, uh, not one of the official, like, the trilogy of the Pirates. This is the movie that came after the trilogy. And uh, it's, more, it's Johnny Depp, basically. And the problem with the movie, they said, was that there was too much Johnny Depp. And without a balancing of it. But it'll be a fun, kind of a fun ride for me. I'll, I'll enjoy it. I like the 3D and stuff like that. Speaking of 3D, I got something that's really good 3D. And uh, I got this one for my better half, but... Uh, I will enjoy it too. I love this cinema. I love cinema and this is fantastic. Titanic 3D. If you have been wondering about this one, uh, from what I heard, I checked this one out afterwards. It has the best conversion 3D available and uh, just some great stuff. It's got a fantastic 96 minute documentary on here as well. Of uh, like kind, of, kind of an historical documentary. It's got a 64 minute uh, documentary on like the making of the film, the making of the 3D conversion and stuff like that. And because uh, James Cameron is, is a master <clears throat> when it comes to 3D, he with Avatar, he's he just he's been the guy that's been able to like bring 3D to that next level. And so I had to have Titanic. It's a, it is an epic classic film. My favorite version of Titanic is still a night to remember, but I cannot fault this one on its on, on the, just the scope that the movie has. Next up, uh, one I know <clears throat> very little about. 
It's, it's a Blu-ray HDD, the, the HD digital copy, and that is uh, saying Mr. Banks. Uh, I know a little bit of story and stuff like that, and I know Tom Hanks is playing Walt Disney. I'm guessing he's not going on saying, you know, Jews or anything like that, like uh, <clears throat> the real Walt Disney was supposed to, but it'll be a fun, charming little film on Disney Movie Awards as well. One of my faves here... <clears throat> that I reviewed but never had actual had an actual copy of them but I finally do. These are all brand new. I can't believe these are all brand new guys. Off the truck. <clears throat> Justice League War. Uh just a great one. It's got a uh, it's got a forty minute documentary on the uh life of Jim Lee. Well the art of Jim Lee and I'm a really big fan of Jim Lee, I'm a really big X Men comics book comic book fan. I love this work on Batman as well. He just did some amazing stuff. I know he did great stuff with uh what's that comic done on his own, huh? Jim Lee, when he went, went with Image. Gen 13. Gen 13 was the second one, but the one before that. Gen, I love Gen 13, but the, one, the first one. Wildcats? Wildcats. Yep. Wildcats. So, War, and I picked up the... I can't believe I got this. I cannot believe the prices I got these at. This is incredible. I got the Hunger Games Catching Fire. And uh, I looked at a lot of different versions of Hunger Games Catching Fire in the stores, but there's one that caught my eye, because just because I had a different unique look to its case. And I think it was a Walmart exclusive collector's edition. And this one actually had the soundtrack. I don't know if the soundtrack to Hunter Games is any good or not, but this was the one he had there. I couldn't believe it. it just just incredible. It just I think the truck fell off at Walmart. Yeah, the truck probably fell off at Walmart. That's where the, where the truck was at. This has got a two hour and 26 minute making of documentary. Incredible. Last but definitely not least, and maybe the one that I watched tonight actually, is uh, because I know my better half will watch this one with me, and I don't think she's gonna watch many of my horror movies that I got yesterday. <laughs> is the movie Frozen? Everybody proclaims this is one of the great Disney's of all time, one of the new greats, and I am so excited to see this. It took them 75 years to make this film, guys. This is what Disney wanted years ago. The basically it's the uh, Snow Queen, third Snow Queen, I think. Uh, yeah, pretty much. So I really want to check this out. Everybody clamors about this one. It's Blu-ray, DVD, eight, digital HD. So with the price I got this one at, if I do buy the 3D version down the road when it comes out in November, then I will not feel at all bad because, yeah, these movies were a steal. Literally. <laughs> literally. Not by me, but by somebody. These movies were literally a steal. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just got inside. I gotta go grab some tea now. So for me right now, it is time for tea.